What's up? What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the show. I am your host, Robin Dory, and here on Channel Red Breast, we talk about two things, and two things specifically. Hip-hop music and sneakers. That's right, shoes. So without further ado-do, let's get busy. <laughs> Jaya, today I'm hype. We're doing one of my favorite groups of all time, one of my favorite albums of all time, and one of my favorite songs of all time. And I be saying this a lot, and I know. But that's why I do the show, folks. Word to the big bird. I'm talking about Black Moon from Brooklyn, New York. Some of the best boom bap hip hop, hip hop period you're gonna hear in your entire life. These dudes went like quadruple platinum on this record right here. Never got paid for it, got ganked out of their skrills, and then kinda got blackballed in the industry after. Now I digress, That's I can make a whole show on just that. And maybe I'll start doing content like that. Y'all let me know if you'd like some content like that. Anyway, shout out to the five footer, shout out to DJ Evil D, and a big shout out to my man Buckshot, one of the best MCs in the game, still killing it to this day. But today we are focused on their 1993 release, Black Moon Enter the Stage. Black Moon Enter the Stage came out on Duck Down Records slash Rec Records. In 1993, it was produced by the Beat Miners. All the cuts were done by DJ Evil D and the rhyming done by Buckshot Shorty and the Five Foot MC. Artist Black Moon. Album, Enter the Stage. Song, How Many MCs. Let's do it. what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Yo, Baird, you gonna like this one. I've been hearing that song for 30 years and every time it bangs. <laughs> for real though. Yikes. Black Moon, enter the stage. How many MCs must get dissed? Apparently, every single one of them in the game. Pretty sure these dudes were dissing everybody right up to Biggie Smalls. These guys did an album with Pac. These guys know about dissing MCs, I'll tell you that. <sighs> Man. Crooklyn. Early to mid 90s. 91 to 95. Brooklyn, East New York rap, man. Oh. Anyways, I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know where I'm going with it. Yo, shout out to Drew Ha and shout out to the Beat Miners. Production is crazy on this record. And while I'm saying that, shout out to all of Duck Down. Shout out to Helta Skelta. Shout out to Smith & Wesson. Shout out to Rusty Jooks. Shout out to everybody on that label housing the dopest hip hop in the world. Shout out to Duck Down Records for real, for real. One train emoji because this is from the days where you would ride on the train listening to this dusty, dirty ass, grimy ass hip hop and you would just love it. Especially for all you New Yorkers out there riding the train. So one train emoji, choo choo choo. Let's get it. Now, with all that taken care of, let's go check out some shoes. Everybody's got to check and make sure that they ain't slipping. What you got on your own feet? Take a look down. Make sure you ain't slipping. Make sure you ain't tripping. Make sure anything good. Look at your feet. Make sure it's good. All right. Folks, it is shoe time. And I've done plenty of episodes here in the Red Best Show about a lot of different pairs of shoes. I'll admit mostly Air Jordans. But that's just the way it goes. And I'll even admit that it's mostly Air Jordan 5s, <laughs> Probably. That being said, we are still about to open up one of my favorite pair of shoes of all time ever. And let's see what you guys think about them. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. 
Well, would you look at that there. Wait. That right there is the Air Jordan 5 Grape. Look at these shoes. Is that the oh boy? Is that the oh we? You know what I mean, Gene Oakland? You know what I mean, Gene Oakland? These are beautiful. Let's take a closer look at these bad boys right here. These are the Air Jordan 5 Grapes. It comes in an all white upper with a nylon tongue, not a 3M tongue. The tongue is purple with a turquoise colored jump man. The inside of the tongue is also emerald. Shark's teeth on the side of the Air Jordan 5 Grapes is also aqua with a grape colored midsole. All bottom icy grill sole on the bottom with an emerald green jump man. The Air Jordan 5 was originally released February 1990 with a first run of four different colorways, the metallic blacks, the fire red with the Twomp 3 and the black tongue, the original fire reds, and these, of course, a big fan favorite, the grapes. The Air Jordan 5 was designed by Tinker Hatfield. I consider him to be the greatest shoe designer in history, but you know, that's just me. <sighs> this one here. I'd say other than the Air Jordan 6, this one here, the Air Jordan 5 Grape, has gotta be the one shoe that I needed as a kid. I needed that shit, and I could never get it. But now I got it as a grown man. Whoa, living out my childhood fantasies there. Okay, folks, what the heck? What the hick hack heck are we gonna rate these bad boys? These are some bad mama jammas. I love these things. The grape and the turquoise and the ooh wee. Okay, now I did an episode on the alternate grapes a while back. Yeah, on the prof episode, I did the alternate grapes and I gave them grape emojis, which is fitting. But that also means I probably shouldn't do that for this. And you know what? These are just a little too special for that. Why don't we just give these, they got aqua color on the grape. And these are the drippiest, splashiest pair of Air Jordans you can wear out with an outfit. So why don't we give these five drip drop emojis, you know? Five drop emojis because these, these are the drip, folks. Retail resale. My apologies, and I've been forgetting to do retail resale in the last couple episodes. I'm rusty. Please forgive me. I took some time off. It's time. I'm finna say it. Because I remembered. These retail at like 225 which is cool if you could try to get them for that. I didn't get them for that. I paid like 400 around 400 for these. I'm not sure what they're going for right now. I could look it up. Yeah, these things go for like $400. So anyways, pretty spency on the resale. But that's why real popular ones, even when the shoe market is in the gutter, the real popular OG colorways are always still gonna be expensive, so try to get them from your stores when they release them. That being said, I, I know my man Flatline loves these shoes, so while I'm talking about these, I'm gonna give a shout out to my man Flatline at Hip Hop Gods Radio. He's the illest DJ in the world. He plays stuff like this all the time, so what you should do is Check out the link in my description to Hip Hop Gods Radio. The DJ Flatline kills it. He's always playing classics and new music from classic artists such as the Duck Down artists. I strongly recommend you go check it out. Shout out Flatline, you my guy. I mean, I, is that it? I think that's it. Folks, listen to Black Moon. I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you can, cop yourself a pair of Air Jordan 5s. Doesn't matter what colorway, but damn, when they, when they release these OG colorways, Pop on them, I'm telling you. I got the fire reds on my feet right now. Fire reds on my feet right now. Anyways, much love to you guys. And that's the final word. All right, all right, that does do it, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank each and every single one of you Spoodle and Doodles for coming by and spending time with yours truly here on Channel Red Breast. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, please do me a favor and do that there. It really gets to helping the channel when you do that there. Also, I know you guys got your own opinions on the songs and shoes that I choose to review, so hop up in the comment section, write a little something something, let me know what you're drinking, let me know what you think about Black Moon, how many MCs are getting dissed out there, let me know what you drank about the Air Jordan shoes that I've been reviewing, 
And if you've got some ideas that you want me to do on some other content, like I mentioned earlier, I was thinking about doing some stories, background stories about why certain artists get blackballed and, and tensions with record labels and whatnot, but whatever, that might also not be so interesting. So mind you, just talking about shoes and hip hop might not be so interesting. So if you are watching this, that might be something you'd be down with. I digress. Go follow me on Instagram uh, and the other platforms, whatever, and holla at me. Until the next episode, folks. Patrick Swayze and Christian Slater. Nailed it. Mm -hmm.